Hello, it's Martin and I just made a mini road trip outside of London to Gatwick where Gridsurf opened their country's third electric forecourt. If you hear a lot of background noise, that's because this road is basically the main approach road for drop-offs and of course you have got airplanes taking off. The forecourt itself is located just by the entrance to the Longstay car park, but you do not need to pay to go in. However, keep in mind, unlike other Gridsurf electric forecourts, you do have a limited one hour maximum stay. And I will tell you why that makes perfect sense in a second, but in the meantime, let me actually show you around the site. Here you go, long stay car park on the right, but you just turn left by the very clear sign and you enter the forecourt area. It follows a similar format to the Norwich side where the chargers are located underneath the building itself to save on space. We have got 22 350 kilowatt grid serve units, all utilizing the AVB hardware just as we are used to from other grid serve sites. And six of those are equipped with both CCS and Chademo as well. Unfortunately, grid serve electricity prices have gone up recently and this site is no different. So you're paying 79 pence per kilowatt hour. However, if you are a Tesla driver, you should be in luck because there will be also four Tesla V3 superchargers. These are definitely the V3s because they are a bit shorter than the V4 stalls and it doesn't seem like they are turned on yet and it will be interesting to see whether they will be opened up to third-party EVs in the future because that would encourage a little bit of friendly competition between Gridsurf and Tesla because you would have two providers on the same site. Slightly ironic for Gridsurf given Tesla usually charges much less per kilowatt hour. On top of all the super fast stuff there are also four AC points which should go up to 22 kilowatts at least in theory but I'm not quite sure how much this will be utilized because of the aforementioned parking limit and I'm very glad that Gridsurf did put in a limit because even though it does pose a little bit of inconvenience that you can't have a meeting or anything like that and the interior has been adjusted for that as well because they're no longer the meeting pods but it means it will not become a waiting area for taxi drivers waiting for confirmations of pickups from the airport so yeah if you need to charge you can charge you have got an hour to do so as you can see even the cars which charge slower like the mini that's plenty of time to get you up to basically full but it simply means that there is plenty of availability for everyone and as you can see now obviously this site is quite young but I'm sure once the site is officially open and published everywhere it will get a bit more busy. If you are not in an electric car there still are some goodies for you so just like at a normal service station you do have air and water provided and there are a few ice parking spots as well in case you just want to grab coffee or do some work on your laptop before you pick someone up but very important thing which I was told and this is not live yet but it will go live supposedly soon is that the cameras will not only enforce the one hour parking limit but they are very clever and they can look at number plates in all of the parking spots so if you are driving a petrol or diesel car and you park in one of the charging bays you will get a fine in the post finally something we've been asking for for ages and hopefully should make the life for EV drivers a lot easier the car has practically finished charging so it's time to get going but there's one important thing to do when leaving because as you see on the signs if you do not want to go into the paid car park slash drop-off area you need to immediately merge into the rightmost lane and go right by the Hilton Hotel and then it will direct you back towards the M23. Overall a fantastic site and I'm very glad to see that the Gridsurf is pushing on with the expansion and learning from their previous projects like for example implementing the parking cameras and I was also told that while on the inside it looks very similar to the other Gridsurf sites all the employees are now Gridsurf employees not necessarily third-party franchise employees which gives Gridsurf the flexibility to in the future for example change the opening times as of right now they are open to 10 p.m that's the building with the groceries and the coffee shop and toilets and so on. The charging is 24-7. This is supposedly matched to the flight patterns at Gatwick. But if there is demand for further opening times, Gridsurf has the flexibility now to hire extra staff and keep the coffee shop and the little store open. By the way, that shop is in a cashierless format. So basically you just tap your card, go in, grab whatever you want, and then you are billed automatically. All just super modern, clever, very well thought out, good lighting on the side, CCTV everywhere, multiple extra large parking bays for drivers with disabilities and so on. So you really can't fault Gridsurf, they're doing a fantastic job. 
Let me know what you think in the comments. Also, you can tweet or let GridServe know because they're very active on social media. So I'm sure if you have any feedback, they would welcome it. Technically speaking, the full-on grand opening is in mid-January. So I sneaked in a little bit early just for you. So expect the site to get a lot more busy from then. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see a lot more of EV content. And I will see you in the next one.